supercars then, all about bedroom wall posters, exciting engines, frightening prices, and I'll lease us in gently to the supercar slope with the new Bentley Mulsanne, their replacement for the Arnage. Everything about this new engine, gearbox, interior, styling, and I've got no doubt at all that it's absolutely exquisite in every way, but it has got one problem. A bit of an ugly face. Before I got here, I thought the Mercedes SLS here looked a little bit awkward too, but in the flesh, the proportions are just spot on. It's got a 6.3 litre V8, 571 horsepower, and does 0 62, 3.8 seconds. Merck say that they wanted to create a classic car of the future, combining space age technology with retro style. So it's got an aluminium space frame and magnesium backrests, but an old school two metre long bonnet and everyone's favourite feature gull wing doors, borrowed straight from a 1950s 300 SL. Although prices haven't been announced yet, it's expected to be at about 140 grand, which pits it straight against the Ferrari 458 Italia and the McLaren MP412C, which makes one road test that I'll be more than happy to conduct. Play wrong. Regardless of what you think of the Porsche Panamera, four-door coupes are here to stay and this Aston Martin Rapide is proof that they can actually be good looking. It'll have the same 470 brake horsepower V12 as in the V12 Vantage, costs about £150,000 and Aston claim it will have the same sporting ability as any of their other modern models, which is good. There's loads of room in the boot for golf clubs and shotguns and dead pheasants. Plenty of room in the back seat for your friends from Eton. But the coolest thing are the swan front doors which angle upwards. It's not every day a new Ferrari comes along, so when one does, everyone wants a piece of the action. And more. This is the new Ferrari 458 Italia. And to be honest, it's probably the most anticipated car of the show and the first Ferrari in about a decade that I've wanted. It's awesome looking. It's got a brand new chassis and a brand new 4.5 litre V8 which is more powerful than the previous Ferrari V8 at 570 brake horsepower and it emits less carbon too. It will reach 62 miles an hour in 3.4 seconds and a top speed of 202 miles an hour. It's also more high tech than the Hadron Collider. Its Vehicle Dynamic Assistance or VDA monitors the condition of all of the key components in the car and then tells the driver how fast he can go. Also, around the front are these little elastic aerodynamic winglets which um, kind of deform at speed and help kind of push it further down the faster you go. So it's not just computers, it's actual physical technology as well, which I like. And just as an excuse to sit in it, I can tell you that the brakes preempt themselves. So when you lift off the throttle, they're primed, so they've got a really quick reaction. Off the throttle, on the brakes. I want to drive it home. I think this is probably the car that a lot of people came here to see. So it seems an appropriate place to end our trip to the Frankfurt Motor Show. Hope you've enjoyed the cars. I'm off to a German branch of McDonald's to get a look Frankfurter. That's where I